Welcome to the Mr. Bridside vlog. I'm Paul Yatsis, AKA Mr. Bridside. Bridside Network is a platform for creators where they can come together and flesh out their talents both in front and behind the camera. We are Brooklyn's creative connection. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and stay notified for future content by hitting the bell notification on YouTube. Work in progress was an official selection of the 2015 Hoboken Film Festival. It's a top 10 festival in America and we were honored to be a part of it. Our very first project, not too bad. We killed it. It's great to say we made a festival for that project. What a festival it was. Go Red Side. After all the fun times and antics on set, nothing compares to going to that premiere that night and the chain of events that happened. Like I said, this is the Hoboken Film Festival, but it wasn't premiering in Hoboken. Due to Hurricane Sandy happening the year before, they changed venues and they loved the venue so much that they did it a second time at this venue still keeping the name Hoboken Film Fest. But it was in Middletown, New York, which is approximately an hour and 47 minutes away from Bay Ridge. I wanted all our friends and family and people that worked on it to come, but it was a Monday night at 10 o'clock, it wasn't realistic. But I thought the best opportunity to get everybody there was to get a party bus. Thought it was a great idea. It was at the time. It was, and we got a party bus. I made a point to tell everybody to be there in time to leave at seven. We had to be there in plenty of time so nothing could go wrong. We were all on that bus at seven o'clock. Right when we were getting ready to drive away, four fire trucks come on the block, two on one side of the block and two on the other. We were trapped, we couldn't get off the block. And I'm already freaking out. 15 minutes pass and they finally clear up and we can get through. So we were off. Everyone was having a great time. We had drinks, we were hanging out. It was like 22 of us on the bus. The driver showed up, he was a nice guy. He actually brought his girlfriend, which was kind of weird, uh, her weird. sitting there, but we were driving and when we got on the highway, this dude started driving 30 miles an hour when it was drizzling. 30 miles an hour, I'm not even joking. And grandmas were zooming past us on the highway and I'm starting to freak out. We were 15 minutes behind already and I just wanted to get there with plenty of time. Uh, and so I'm trying to get him to go quicker. He was very concerned about the safety of his passengers and that's what he said. So he refused to go more than 30, 35 miles an hour. On top of the going slow, People needed to make pit stops. We were having drinks on the bus and there was no bathroom on the bus. We stopped at one rest stop. Everybody piles out, 20 people get out of the bus. We get back in. 10 minutes later, someone else has to go and now I start freaking out. And I start fighting with my other friend. You go, we can't stop, we can't stop. Finally, they stopped, they pulled over. People ran out the side of the road, started peeing. And it was getting pretty messy. Then a little later, the driver decides to make another pit stop without telling anybody because his girlfriend had to go. I started losing them, looking at my clock. We are really cutting it close here and it's taking forever to get an hour and 47 minutes away. There wasn't a lick of traffic. The guy wasn't following the directions we gave him from Google. He was doing his own thing. He just wasn't listening. It was really insane. Like, yeah. it's getting me angry talking about it right now. It, was, it took way too long. We didn't know if we were on first, we just knew that the first film was being shown at 10. We show up there at 10.30, run off the bus, run into the screening room, and our credits are rolling on our film. It was a very defeated feeling I felt that day. I mean, at least we saw the credits. <laughs> you know? I hate you sometimes. No, I'm saying. <laughs> so at this point, we missed our screening and we just decided to enjoy what we had left. We started taking pictures in front of the step and repeat. We started talking to other filmmakers. A couple people of our group were really kind of drunk and not feeling well. They needed to go to the bathroom. I'm not gonna name names here. You know who you are. One person was in the bathroom for a while and another person was staying with him to make sure he was okay. They were in the bathroom for 30 to 40 minutes. The person helping the sick person decided it was a great idea to light up a cigarette in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And that's when we were escorted out by a police officer and everyone left. So not only did we miss our premiere, we got escorted out of the premises. Emotions were high, we got back in the bus, tried to make the best out of it. We kept on drinking and having a good time. And by the end of the night, for some reason, me and you got into some type of fight, scuffle. Uh, it was about to happen and then it was broken up before it could even happen. But as that happened, the driver of the bus, the hero that he was, pulled over, stopped and he said, that's it, I want overtime. And that's when I lost it. I started flipping out on the dude. It's all your fault. You're the reason we missed yeah. it. You totally and your girlfriend. Everything onto him. And then, yeah, yeah, I tried to deflect all of the issues yeah. we had that night onto him. 
I mean, but I still believe that he was the reason we were late. Yeah. Uh, we needed a scapegoat anyway. We needed anyway. a scapegoat at yeah, that time. I think. And he was but, right there at the right time. No, no. Hit. It was his fault. That's it was his that. fault. You're right. Anyway. And I flipped out at him, and then he refused to drive us until I calmed down, and then we paid him his overtime. And we all went home, and that was that. Scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> As everything settled down from that fateful night, we actually went back to Middletown, New York the next week for the awards. We didn't win, but we were well known amongst the people there. Honorable mention. The moral of the story, folks, is don't get a party bus that doesn't have a bathroom. That's it for us. Check out Monday, Brooklyn Versus, and Tuesday, Bridgeside Live. See you on the Bridgeside. Go Bridgeside. They wouldn't put you in the cars if you your can't go the more than 35 best, miles an hour the in the rain. best reason of all to we keep We shouldn't be driving safe. cars. I mean, still. Well, then know. it shouldn't be a form of transportation. It wasn't a car, it was a big bus. I don't it know, I'm just saying. It's the way you're making it sound, though. Yeah. It's, yeah like, For the safety of our crew? Yeah. <laughs> God, f them! Yeah. The show's over!